Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Hey, this week, let's go ahead and cover if you have an Atwood or a Dometic, why does it still smell? Well, if you've learned from my other tech tips, you know that our suburban water heaters have an anode rod, okay? Our Atwood or Dometics do not have an anode rod. And the question is, on my Atwood or Dometic water heater, I don't have an anode rod, how can I get a nasty smell? Well, first, let's go back to why an anode rod could provide a nasty smell. An anode rod is made up of two different elements, depending on the type of anode rod you get. If you buy an anode rod that is actually made with magnesium, magnesium can mix with other minerals. So if you go somewhere where there's sulfide tinged water, or we get a mineral sulfide, all right? Minerals, the sulfide mineral mag, uh, mixes with the uh, magnesium and we get this smell, rotten egg smell. Oh. Right? I think I did a Tech Tip Tuesday on that. Now what's happening is, hey Todd, I have a Dometic or an Atwood water heater. No anode rod. Still smells. What's going on? Well, here's the thing. Even though you don't have an anode rod, guess what? You need to clean that tank out. The smell could be something different. Let's think about this. That, that holding tank you have for your hot water, that is the oldest water that's in your RV. Now let's think about that. You don't dump your water heater from place to place. You may dump your holding tank of your water if you're going from place to place, but you never dump the holding of the water inside your water heater. And that is susceptible to place after place after place that we go to. We get different minerals and everything else. Um, if you don't winterize, man, you've got that water sitting there. And over time, yeah, you're gonna get different elements. There's gonna be bacteria that grows or anything else. If your Atwood water heater is smelling, oh, that's letting you know it's time to go ahead and sanitize that. The best sanitizer we can use, go ahead and put vinegar in there. So go over to the other video and I'll show you how to use the vinegar inside your water heater. And there's your tech tip. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, or let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com Click on programs and get started today. Look at it, rapid fire. <laughs> I like this one. This is like a, a, a tech tip done in 20 seconds. If our RV isn't pre-wired for solar, I wonder what type of kit I can get. And would it be more expensive? Well, no kit versus a kit. Not buying money versus spending money. Not buying money, 